Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, just a quick update on my giant sequoia experiment that I've been doing. Uh, all in all, it's been about two years in the making. And uh, it used to reside in this little pot when I first started it. Uh, I will try and hook everybody up with the link down below. Anybody interested in seeing the original uh, video of the experiment a couple months ago. Uh, the roots started coming out the drain hole in the bottom so I had two choices was to either uh, remove it and cut the roots back or uh, re repot it into a larger pot and I decided to go that direction because of uh, the experiment and I wanted to see how uh, clipping from uh, this sequoia uh, was going to work out because uh, if you know your giant sequoias uh, they do not reproduce with root sprouts or uh, uh, burl sprouts uh, like the coast redwoods do uh, these giant sequoias they only reproduce from the cones the seeds of the cones so and they actually take about 20 years to mature until they actually grow any kind of cones and it could take a decade for them to actually uh, reproduce anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're going to show you uh, what the roots look like. Uh, here are some photos that I took uh, right before I repotted it. Uh, some before uh, while it was still in the pot. Uh, here are some photos of uh, the root system. And you can see that the roots are quite uh, impressive for just being a branch that I cut off of a tree. And the experiment was to see, can I you know, reproduce uh, a giant sequoia tree just from a clipping? And uh, the results are quite, quite impressive. Uh, it is definitely a yes. Uh, you know, you can reproduce these giant sequoias uh, with just a clipping from the tree. My buddy Naman had sent me some clips that there's some laboratories actually doing that to try and bring uh, the population back up. So this is what it looks like now. Uh, you can see, you know, it is not a bonsai anymore. It is growing and it's doing very well. And you can see it's looking just like the mother tree that I took the limb off of. I'm thinking in a few short uh, years, you might not even be able to tell the difference between the two. Everything is going very well with it. You can see all the new green that's coming up over the season. You know, it spends its time outside uh, for the spring, the summer, and it'll stay out there for the fall. And uh, that is what I'm you know, most curious about with the experiment is how far can a clipping go? Uh, it should take off and turn into a regular tree. Yeah, just a quick update. Uh, you know, the giant sequoia experiment doing fabulous. Uh, it's just only days now till Labor Day weekend and uh, the unofficial end of summertime. So, hey, what better way to uh, bring down the summer with uh, just a, a tree update and see how everything is going. I don't forget to check out the link down below with the original uh, giant sequoia uh, bonsai experiment planting of that. You can see how small the roots were at the time and how small the tree actually was while it went into this pot. And uh, everybody's doing well. Mother, mother tree, uh, just uh, clipping from that tree. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.